Hello everyone, I'm Divya, your math facilitator. So now I'm here with the most important questions of physics for your practice test one. So I hope whatever questions we discussed yesterday, you got at least most of them in your exam. And if there is any question which I could not guess, so please let me know in the comment section. And if you feel like I, I was successful in guessing all the questions or most of the questions, please let me know that also in the comment section. So that will be very helpful for the new subscribers. Okay. And do share the video with all your friends so that most of you will be benefited by my sessions. And the same way I'm going to help you in the board paper also okay so now today let me tell you which questions you will have to prepare first for your physics practice test okay so portion for the practice test is second half so it starts from chapter number seven i'm considering okay so in chapter seven you will learn what is Mendeleev periodic table the features of Mendeleev's periodic table Okay, then you will learn modern periodic table, modern periodic law and modern periodic table. Okay, so mainly, mainly periodic table, how are they arranged in groups and uh, periods. So then modern periodic table, how many periods are there, how many groups are there and the arrangement of the elements in modern periodic table. Then you will learn what is electropositivity and the factors affecting it and electronegativity and the factors affecting it. Electropositivity and negativity only the definition is different. Factors affecting it you will find the same headings. So learn it together it will be easy for you to remember. Okay and along with this you will learn how the atomic size is changing across the periods across the uh, group. Okay, so these things, how they are changing across the periods and groups, you will uh, try to learn them. Okay, so this is from chapter 7. So these are the most important questions which everyone should know. Okay, then chapter 8, you will learn valence bond theory, VBT, VSEPRT theory and hybridization. And most importantly, you will learn the molecule formation. Okay, you will see BCL2, 180 degree, very important, BF3 very important n 2 o2 okay at least these four molecules how are they formed you you should be able to draw okay so what is hybridization and how is bf3 molecule formed bcl2 formed n2 and o2 formed these are the basic questions which you should know from this particular chapter then proceeding to the next chapter 9 electric current in this basic definition what is electric current everyone will learn after that the most important essay question is resistance so what is resistance okay before resistance i suggest you to learn ohm's law first okay because from ohm's law you define resistance so first learn ohm's law very important so after you learn ohm's law just go to the first question resistance okay resistance depends on various factors in your textbook you have activities okay resistance depends on length of the conductor area of cross section material of the conductor temperature of the current uh, of the conductor so do learn those activities they are very small very simple okay so you just have to see resistance is directly proportional to length of the conductor so that way you have four activities so please learn them from the textbook okay so this is the most important topic which you have to learn from chapter number nine now coming to chapter number 10 you have what is electromagnetism you will anyway read the definition then what is oyster experiment okay so what is the magnetic field uh, created when through with the help of a current carrying straight conductor coil and solenoid okay so you have three activities these are three activities under one heading magnetic field created uh, due to a current carry straight conductor coil and a solenoid very important three activities maximum out of three you will get one okay then electric motor working you just learn okay so these are the things we will learn from chapter number 10 okay which i'm giving you are just activities okay so here you see magnetic flux magnetic field in straight conductor coil and solenoid these are three different small small activities where you have a, a plumbing's right hand rule also please learn them 
okay in chapter 11 you have corrosion activity you have three test tubes you take three test tubes isn't it in one you put iron hills in all three then see how air and water affects the rusting of those iron nails okay that activity you will learn and after that activity you have methods to prevent corrosion so do learn those methods also very simple basic four points you have there then extraction of metals in three different cases high reactivity metals middle reactivity and low reactivity these three okay separate it properly and learn so that there is no confusion okay then chapter number 12 nothing much to learn what is alkane 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 so the general formula for alkane 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 then you may also learn uh, uh, the different uh, uh, forms of carbon amorphous crystalline that's it and uh, for very short you can also learn all these are short for short you can also learn uh, why is carbon uh, uh, called versatile okay why is it versatile in nature okay short answer then essay question is soap what is soapification okay or how do you remove dirt with the help of soap that last topic of your uh, chapter 12 okay so do learn these questions so these are the basic questions which you have to know and if you know this that means maximum you have covered the syllabus and here and there short answers may be left over part b questions so which i will anyway uh, ask you to complete it in the due course of time in the month of february so as of now for your practice test for tomorrow if you're learning this definitely you will have a very good score you can trust me on this okay so after you finish your exam please come back to this video and comment and let me know whether you got most of the questions or not and also don't forget to share this with all your friends. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.